Hi, my name is Laura, and I just want to share a quick tip with people who might be having the same problem as me. Um, I have a senior dog, and the situation uh, is the medium-sized diapers are too tight, does not cover over his penis area, uh, so I have to go with the next size up, which is a large slash extra large, and that is too big. So what happens is I end up using the large extra large uh, diapers, for him he's like a 23 pound cockapoo um it's the only di diaper that fits him properly to catch uh you know when he pees um but the problem is the poop hole is too big all right so what happens is when he poops the poops come comes out of the um the tail hole uh the, so the the tail hole is too big i'm sorry and the poop comes out of the tail hole so what happens is i wake up in the morning and he poops and he steps in it. As he's walking around, pacing around, he steps in it and it's wedged in his paws. It's all over his bed. And I keep him in an area at night, um, an area at night that has pee pee pads on the floor, his bed, his water, you know, his food, uh, everything is all contained. Um, he's in like a, uh, like a 10 by 10 uh, area. Um, but the problem is I wake up and he pooped and he stepped in it and it's all over the place and it's a real mess i have to pick him up put him in the shower wash him off uh dry him it's just a whole big procedure uh put another diaper on him clean up all the mess get all the poop uh you know all the you know the dirty pads off the floor change his bedding it's a whole big nightmare um, so what I've decided to do, and I found out that it absolutely works. Now you might not have this problem. Your problem might be that the, the diaper fits perfect and the poop is going in the diaper, but then you wake up and if it's, you know, real mushy poop, it's all over the dog's butt. It's a, you gotta still wash them. Uh, it could cause a urinary infection, whatever. If he's sitting too long and he's got like loose stools inside the diaper, but anyway, I found a plan, okay? If you have a diaper that fits perfectly, then what you would do is just cut the tail hole a little bit bigger. Um, <coughs> make sure the diaper, you know, is pulled up nice and snug too when it's on nice and snug so it's up against his, uh, his butt area. Um, what I did is all I did is I took a Ziploc bag and it's gotta be a quality one. It can't be like a, um, a Walmart bag, like a Glad um, Ziploc because it has a thicker... Um, it has like a, a thicker band here. What I do is I take a glue gun, just a, a regular ordinary glue gun, okay? And I take a Ziploc and where I put the glue, where I stick it is right on that band there, okay? And on the other side too, right here. So what I'll do first is I put the glue on the outside of the hole, okay? And then I push that down and and get it on nice and tight. Then I go and I do the other side. I put the glue around this side of the hole and I press it down. And then on the bottom part, now here's the tabs. The tabs of the diaper, this goes under him. So when, the, when it's on, the tabs are like on top of his back, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're putting, um, you're putting the bag on where the diaper where when he poops it goes it goes downward okay um so the top part here doesn't necessarily have to be glued so so when he poops the poop will just go inside the bag so what i did too is on the bottom area here as well is i went ahead and i glued that down also so now when he wears this diaper the poop will literally just go right into the bag so now, even if the diaper ends up falling off somehow, which sometimes it does, somehow they wiggle free of it, at least the poop is contained inside of a bag. So there's less chance, even if he were to kick into it or step on it, you know, hopefully the bag will contain it. And if it stays on him, he could be sound asleep and the poop is not sitting on his skin. It's actually in this little bag. I call it like a poop pocket. So this is, this is uh, like what it is. Just want to make sure you see it okay in the video. Um, and I'm going to get a diaper right now just to show you something.
So again, with the diaper. Okay, hold on. All right, so with the diaper, here's the opening. So where you would actually glue, not on this thin part, on the thick part here. You put a strip of glue here, and then you take the baggie. One second. You take the baggie, and you put it down right on top of the glue. Okay? And leave enough at the end here, because that's going to be glued down as well. And then once that's glued, then you do the second side. And again, it's on this part where it's the thicker part, not, not the thin part there, the thicker part. And you put it there. And then once you got the two sides glued, then you go and you put the glue on the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll put it right under here. And there you have it. And then he has, or your, your dog has a poop pocket, and it's beautiful. So now anytime your dog goes poop, it all gets caught in the bag. How nice is that? Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to share that tip with you, and um, have a nice day.